Does it use Wi-Fi? No. Does it have Bluetooth? No, it does not have Bluetooth. Can it at least make a phone call? This thing make a phone call? Yes. <laughs> no. Are there pictures at least? No. Hey, what's up guys? We're in the middle of moving right now, and so I'm kind of going through some old stuff, some old junk of ours back here in my tool room, and I stumbled across something really cool. I want to show you guys what it is. Let's take a look. So right here in this plastic drawer set, let's see if we can take a look here. I went in and pulled it out, but uh, here it is. Da, 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 da. What in the world is this thing? Okay, so what I found was my very first iPod. And this iPod is a second generation classic iPod. From what I can tell, these came out in July of 2002. And I'm recording this now in May of 2018. That puts this thing at 16 and like three quarter years old, almost 17 years old. That's insane. These came out in 2002 and they have two basic models, a 10 gigabyte and a 20 gigabyte. And uh, as you can see, mine here that I have is a 10 gig. Um, it's been through, it's been through a lot with me. Now I bought this used off a guy that I went to college with back in 2004. And I used this iPod extensively in 2004. In fact, I used to have a Velcro strip on the back of this thing and I Velcro it to the side of my motorcycle. So as I drove around, I could listen to music and stuff with this thing going. Went through rain showers, I mean, you name it. This thing's been camping with me, kayaking, fishing. Me and, me and this iPod have tons of memories. But um, I honestly, you know what? I love this iPod. And I'm not sure if it's gonna power up. It's been, gosh, the last time I powered this up has probably been 10 plus years. And this thing has been uh, to U.S. Army basic training with me. In fact, really cool story. Uh, when I went into Army basic training in 2005, uh, which is 13 years ago now, uh, the drill sergeants put me in charge of the room where we kept all our duffel bags with our like our civilian clothes and also like personal items. And I had this in that in that duffel bag. We weren't allowed to have these at all in basic training. Well, I had the keys to that door. So, you know, I could not resist the temptation. I had to listen to music. I love music. So I snuck into that room one night in the middle of the night and I found this iPod and I brought it back to my foot locker and I climbed inside my foot locker and I plugged the earphones in and I powered this thing on and I listened to music for like an hour or two that night. It had been weeks and weeks since I listened to any music. So it was amazing. And I listened to it every night thereafter. I actually we used to put this thing in a Ziploc bag. And I knew that if they searched my Foot Locker and they found this, I would be in huge trouble. So what I did is I put it in a Ziploc bag and I buried it under my powder dish detergent. Because I knew that they wouldn't dump that out on the floor and find this. So every night I would put it back in my Ziploc bag and, and carve out a little hole in the dish detergent and then bury it back over. So um, that's how I hid this thing. I was like a smuggler of iPods, but it was this iPod. This is so cool. And has a headphone jack. Um, these use Firewire, as you can see here. This, I don't think a lot of Apple devices use Firewire anymore, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is an old like hold button here. It's not to change it to vibrate or anything like that. It's a hold button. So like you would switch it over to hold or lock it so you didn't actually accidentally hit any keys, you know, like in your pocket and start playing music in your pocket. So this is so cool. We're gonna power this up and actually, let's see if it works. The really cool thing about this, I mean, it's like it's like a brick. Um, it's so cool, and it actually has like the old discs and stuff in there that you can hear spinning. I think when it does power up, but it's like it used to double as like a mirror, you know, back before it was all scratched up. So let's power it up here. This is the original cord, I guess, that I found with it. Um, really old cord, so you can see. Um, wow, I guess I gotta pin that pin that back. So let's power this thing up and see what it does. the other way. There we go. Uh oh, we have the Apple logo, folks. Wow, so I can actually hear it. 
humming right now. Let me get it really close to the... Uh... You guys hear that? That's the disc and stuff humming in there. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like a little fan running. So this is the original menu. This is so cool. So this spin wheel is what actually controlled it. And uh, you, know, you would select up or down. And then you would click the middle button right here and it would go to music. So it had it all divided up into these different different categories here. Let's go to artist and see, you know, I used to write and record music. And let's see if I have any on here still. Johnny Cash, Josh Brooker. Now it doesn't look like I have any of my music. Darn, because I was gonna make a shameless shameless plug there. Let's go to Johnny Cash. Now I don't have any headphones. At least I don't think so. Let me go look in that other bin and see if I can find some headphones, and then maybe we'll play a little bit of Johnny Cash. Okay, well I got my head, my Apple headphones here. Um, these things have been to the wash a couple times. But let's go ahead. I don't know how much I can play without getting copyright strikes, so I'm just gonna be really careful and just uh, see what happens. It looks like it is playing. Yeah, it seems to be working. Oh yeah, sounds beautiful. Here, let's go back. Uh, something that's not copyrighted. Here's a friend of mine, uh, Josh Brooker. Let's see what we got here. This is a really good song a friend of mine from college wrote. And uh, let's see if this plays through here. This is so cool, because it's like a, I don't know, it's a piece of nostalgia for me to have this working and playing. It's just really cool. You guys have no idea. And it's a second generation iPod. I'm a middle school teacher, and this thing is older than all the students I teach. And it still works, and it works fine. It's just really cool. It has a little charging thing going across there. Well... The next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this inside and see if my 10-year-old son knows how to work this. I just want to watch him fumble through it. He knows how to work an iPhone really well, but let's see if he can do a second-generation iPhone. Stay tuned. So, Noah, uh, you're 10 years old, almost mm -hmm. 10 years old, yeah. and you're about to try out a 16-year-old iPod. Have you ever seen an iPod like this? I mean, other than just right, right now, have you <laughs> seen... Um, not in stores or anything, no. This yeah. is pretty old. So this thing is like almost seven years older than me. There's your headphones. Put those in. Put those in your ears there. Alright. So what do you have on this? Uh, just music. What type of <laughs> Uh, just lame old people music. So what I want to, I want to see you do is just try to navigate. I want to see whether or not you can find how to get this stuff. We got a mute. You just what? turn the light on. Oh, that's a light? Yeah, that's the light. Isn't that oh. amazing how, how bright it is? Not too bright. <laughs> it's in case you want to use your iPod at night, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now let's try to just get some like music going. I want you to just play some music. I, yeah, I'm trying to. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get up to music. You're trying to get up to the music? Yes. Just scroll the scroll the wheel. Scroll up. No, so, oh, wow. wait, wait, what did you just try to do? Did you just try to like... I tried like tapping on it. Did you try to like touch the screen? Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's not touch screen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I click on music. Yeah. All right, seems to be working. Playing some Switchfoot. What do you think? It plays music. Oh. Thanks. That was pretty state of the art back then, in 2002. The fact that we could sit, fit 10 gigabytes of music on something that fits in your hand was pretty incredible. I know, it's pretty lame now, right? Alright guys, well I hope you like this video. 
If you wouldn't mind, give it a thumbs up if I deserved it. Otherwise, subscribe for more updates like this. And, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about selling this thing off. Comment down below what you guys would end up paying for this if you wanted to buy it. Just what would you pay for something like this? A working second generation iPod. It's kind of like a collector's item at this point. Thanks guys for watching. See you around.